Hey everyone, Dylan here, and it's been a little bit since I've done a review on a product. Now, if people are wondering why I just review the product and don't normally have it right in front of me, um, one part is because I don't know if I'll be able to show it off correctly because, you know, I am blind, so I, I, I don't know how well I'd be able to show it in the camera. But also, in the bedroom that I record in, there is a door, the door like has like hooks. I have to use like like little hooks in the door to keep it closed because the door doesn't work correctly because it's stupid. So when I have to unhook it and come in and keep my cats out of this room, um, carrying an object kind of make is difficult, especially with the thing that I'm reviewing today, which is a a uh, stainless steel frying pan. So specifically, it is called Stone, and it's Amazon. It's an Amazon brand. It's Amazon. Um, Stone and Beam uh, Tri-Ply Stainless Steel, uh, you know, uh, frying pan, cooking pan, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's, a, it's 12 inches. And so if you do not know, a lot of the stick, like non-stick pans, basically use some toxic stuff that they use to put on their pans. And eventually will break off and get into your food and stuff. So... Once I really, like, actually realized that and learned that, I was like, ah, I want to get another pan. Um, so I was looking into the different options, and basically, um, like, you know, they, there were some, and I was looking for, I was looking at, like, two different things, like an iron, iron, uh, iron, like, skillet, and then a, um, I don't know why I can't think of the actual name for of it, but, you know, and then, like, a stainless steel pan. And so I optimally wanted to go with uh, a stainless steel pan, but I didn't know what to go with. And, you know, I didn't realize there were plies. There's, like, trip tri-ply, like, three layers of metal and stuff. And there's, like, f like five ply and seven ply. And then the one big brand that, like, does stainless steel is called um, All Clad. And their stuff's, like, really expensive. So as far as the price goes, which I'm just going to throw it out now, for this pan, it is a 12-inch stainless steel tri-fly um, pan, uh, frying pan, that comes with a stainless steel lid that um, goes on top of it. And it, um, it was, when I bought it, it was $40. Now, when I searched, like, I checked it another time, like, and it was like 46 I don't know what it is currently right now. But I still think it, it, even if it were like 46, even though I paid 44, I would still pay 46 for it because it is a great pan. And the reviews on Amazon are like mixed, like on a lot of, like mo the majority of the views, I think it's like 4.1, 4.3 stars, something like that out of five stars. And like, you know, like when you read a bunch of reviews, you read some that like aren't so great and then some that are good. And then, so I just decided to take the plunge on it because, you know, I wanted to move towards a stainless steel pan. I didn't want the nonstick, like toxic stuff getting in my food. And so this is my very first pan. So, you know, I'm not sure what I'm looking for, what I'm doing. And um, the one thing about this uh, stainless steel pan, and uh, like I said, it's an Amazon brand. I will leave a link in the description um, for the product so you can go look at it yourself. Don't worry, it's not one of those affiliate links. So if you click on it and like if you did purchase it, I don't make any money. <laughs> I don't get anything for it. I'm just it's just a normal link to the product. So it's not an affiliate link. So you don't gotta worry about that. But um, like I said, if like you want to just look it up on your own and not use the link for whatever reason, um, like I said, it's stone S T O N E and then the like ampersand sign for amp and then beam B E A M. Uh, you know, and I think they have some other pans that are smaller too that are don't have the lid, um, because a twelve inch pan is pretty big. I'm not gonna lie, but I really like it because I like cooking like six in, uh six ounce hamburger patties, and I cook two of them. And I like having room and stuff. So, um, but look into the like maybe their smaller ones. Uh, I can't speak for those, but if you want something smaller, but if you want something big like a twelve inch. And it comes with a lid and you can put it in the oven and all that good stuff if you really wanted to because it's stainless steel. And the cool thing about um, this is um, it uh, it heats up perfectly fine. I'm, I, I might be all over the place with this, but yeah, uh, I think it's definitely worth the uh, price. 
And like I said, it comes with a stainless steel lid. You can put it in the oven. It's uh, perfectly fine. It is a little heavy. It's like four pounds. So it can be a little heavy if you're not like that strong. But I like it. Um, the handle is really long. Um, it doesn't have two handles. So you, you will only be able to put it in the oven with one. The handle is long. That's kind of a complaint I kind of have. Um, it's a little too long and if you're in like a really short closed space it kind of makes it difficult or like putting it in the oven and you have a smaller oven um so but i would much rather it be too long than too short that'd be way worse for with a stainless steel pan so it being too long isn't it's a complaint but uh, at the same time it's not i would much rather it be longer so that's kind of my thing with that um it cooks perfectly fine because on uh like in in the middle of like because the, there's like three like there's like the layer of the stainless steel on top and then on the bottom and then in the middle of those it is um there's some aluminum because aluminum is a good conductor and keeps the heat this pan heats up fine but here's some things that you need to know about stainless steel if you've never used it and you don't know and you're like coming over to this side of things um one is that you need to heat up your pan it takes about a minute and a half to two minutes, depending on your oven and stovetop. And uh, my stovetop is a gas stovetop, so take that as you will. I don't know how it'll work with others. This is just what I have. So, but it does take like about one and a half to two minutes for me for gas. Like it may vary for you, just test it out, um, see what works for you. But about one and a half to two minutes for stuff is ready to cook. Um, and it holds temperature perfectly fine. It stays really hot for a really long time. Um, so, uh, no problems there. It's great for that. It has a great amount of area. Some people, if you go to the thing and read some of the reviews, I think some of the reviews are stupid because a lot of people are complaining that their food is sticking to stainless steel. If you do any research, like at all, the bare minimum research, you will see that stainless steel is not nonstick. And even on their, like, even in their, like, thing, they never say, that this pan is a nonstick pan. They don't say like it's a nonstick pan. Stuff will stick to it because it's stainless steel. Those people that are like just complaining about it did not do their research. So things will stick a little bit. Um, there are methods. I haven't had a huge problem, but I don't. I don't cook that much, many different things in it. So um, uh, the things I have like after cleanup, there is some things that can stick to it here and there, but. Um, you know, you make sure you use butter, make sure you heat it up properly, um, the pan up properly. Um, you could look online, There's, I'm sure there's different techniques and different things you could do for like stainless steel sticking and stuff. So, and it depends on what you cook too. So keep that in mind. So um, be aware things will stick. Don't get mad at the product. Get mad at the people who didn't do their research. Um, so it never said it was nonstick. Also, um, as far as cleaning goes, cleaning is easy. Um, there was like one time where I overcooked some stuff a little bit and I had to scrub a little extra, but nothing too crazy. Like, um, just some, you know, hot water, some soap and a scratch pad and you'll get everything off. You have to put a little more work into it maybe, but it's really not that big a deal. And depending on what you're cooking, it, like I said, you might have to scrub a little bit more. Um, a little bit harder to get stuff off, but it's not that hard. It's, it's easy to clean. Trust me. Um, that's the, that's my experience. Anyways, some people in the reviews have talked about their pans warping on the bottom and I never had that problem. Um, like I said, my gas stovetop is like I said, it's gas. And so I don't know if that makes a difference or what they're doing or whatever it is, but I have never, I haven't, mine hasn't worked. My bottom hasn't worked. It's perfectly fine. It's great. Um, so I haven't had that problem. So, um, yeah, the handle does not get hot very, like, of course, the more further up you go, the handle, it will get warmer, but like, it's safe. You're not going to burn yourself, um, with that. All in all, it's just a really great pan. It's just this solid, nice looking piece. I, like, I don't, my girlfriend told me it looks great. I don't know how it actually looks, but she said it looks good and nice and just a nice piece of equipment if you don't want to use um, 
those, you know, non-stick toxic materials that like they use with pans these days. So like, man, so I wanted to get away from that. So if you're looking for a good, cheaper pan, because you might, some people might be like, well, 40 bucks is kind of expensive. It's not, it's not. I've seen like a lot of like more expensive stainless steel pans, like 70, 80, 90, a hundred dollars plus. So for about around 40 bucks, I think it's a really good deal. And so, um, so I, like I said, I've seen some bad reviews and I just said, you know, screw it. I'll just try it anyways. There's like still 4.3 out of five stars anyways of good stuff. So like it can't be all bad. So I fit and like the way you can look at it, worst things worst, you just return it, right? Get a refund. Best case scenario, you find an amazing stainless steel pan that's cheap and it's great. And I really like it. So, um, that's kind of my over review, that review of it. Like I said, Amazon, it's an Amazon brand, Amazon stone and beam, 12 inch, uh, tri ply stainless steel frying pan it comes with a stainless steel lid. Great. I love it. I can't sing its praises more and, uh, works great for me. Cleans up easy for me. It will stick. As I said, it will stick a bit. So, and on Amazon, I did review it and I gave it a four out of five. Um, it's, I mean, it's, it, I don't, I don't like to give five stars out to many things like often. And like, it was a really great thing. If I could, I'd probably give it like 4.5. If Amazon did that, I'd give it like a 4.5 out of five stars. Um, cause like, I don't know, there's not much else I would change about it. It's mostly fine. So, uh, yeah, so I would give it a 4.5 out of five stars, but I had to give it a four on Amazon. So give it a try. Tell me what you think. Like I said, the link will be down in the description. It's not an affiliate link. So yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Um, for the product, check it out. Let me know and all that. So uh, yeah, that's kind of been my product review of this. Um, I just, I don't, I don't know. I just do product reviews when I buy something that I think is nice that someone should know about. If you're on the fence about it, you know, uh, give it a try. Give it a try. I'd urge you. That's what I did. Took the chance and it worked out for me. So um, and at, at worst you can return it. So, but yeah, that's been my review of the, uh, Amazon stone and beam 12 inch tri-ply stainless steel frying pan. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have fun typing that in. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for listening. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video.